Okay guys, I recorded a video yesterday showing you how to uh, use Kodi on your Android device if you have a Chromecast or a DLNA, DLNA enabled TV. So it's just a quicker way um, I'm showing you um, from the device itself without any glare um, using the screen record feature. So what you want to do is have Kodi installed, complete setup wizard, and the local cast app. All right, and you want to use EX File Explorer to copy this particular file over. It's a uh, XML file. So I want from ES File Explorer, you go to Show Hidden Files. So you, you select that um, there, or uh, depending on the, the file explorer you're using, but Settings, Display Settings, and you should see this uh, Show Hidden Files. You want to toggle that on. Um, then from there, you just want to go to where you downloaded that XML file, um, player, core, factor, configuratory, or however you pronounce it. So you, then you just copy it. Then you want to go um, back. You want to open up Android. You want to open up data. You want to scroll down to you see org.xbmc.cody. Click there. Click the files. Click Cody. Click on user data. And then you want to paste it, you know, paste it right in this folder. Um, it appears player core factory XML right there. Once that's done, um, honestly, all you have to do at that point is open up the Kodi app. Um, the reason I show the uh, install fusion from the complete Kodi setup wizard, it just makes it a lot easier to go into there and then go to um, install from URL and install add on from repo URL. And that's where you would paste that um, HTTP fusion, <clears throat> excuse me, fusion.tv add-ons.ag. But anyway, so you could just go straight straight to the Kodi app. And once you enter into Kodi, <clears throat> excuse me, it turns into uh, portrait mode. And from there, from there you'll see the options for uh, movies. And sorry, I touch movies but once you see movies at this very bottom you see Exodus uh, I'm not sure what that says salts and a few other things so you tap on Exodus and then from there TV shows movies whatever um, you can search you can search by genre um, so you can search by networks <clears throat> and my phone just exited me out of uh, Cody but from there you you'd go um, into and you just wait for it to pull up and you just go to Exodus and um, you go to movies and um, so you can go to year you can even do a search um, but I'm just gonna pick the first one that I see and see that it says working, so it takes a little while. I know I know you can buy those uh, TV boxes from Android, but if you already have a Chromecast, this is a good way just to go ahead and use your phone to to cast. So I mean, some of these uh, based on the quality, some of them will let you know the quality of the movie before you decide to play it. If it's uh, actually an HD 1080p or if it's like a cam recorded with a camera. Um, so you see this time elapsed is searching for providers. Um, once that's done, it's going to show you the list of the, uh, streaming providers. Um, so you have X movies here. It says, it says it's HD. Um, we click on that. It's going to start loading it as well. And you just got to wait for it. And then it pulls up local cast. <clears throat> excuse me and you can see where my Chromecast I named it life is good so you just select that and for my TV is it's pulling up a uh, local cast and you can add it to the queue or you can hit play right away the add to the queue feature is great if you're it's very useful if you're just going to um, you know go ahead and put a whole list of TV shows or other movies that you want to can play back to back as soon as the next one finish but you just hit play and then 
is casting this to my TV right now. And from within a local cast app, you can still pay, play fast forward, shuffle. <clears throat> you can even route the audio to the device. But it, once it does that, it's actually cast into my screen right now. Um, you shouldn't have any problems with it. Um, I noticed that sometimes if it doesn't automatically access local cast, you may want to clear like your default players for like videos like VLC or ES File Explorer video or anything like that. So that's the quickest way to set it up. And um, I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope this helps you guys out. Peace.